Hi, it's Laura here from lauratomasauthor.com. I'm an author and a book lover. And today I'm bringing you a book review on The Paris Library by Janet Skeslian Charles. Paris Books, World War II era and library. This book checks so many of my happy boxes that I was super excited to read it. Published in February 2021 by Atria Books, the Paris Library is based on the true World War II story of heroic librarians at the American Library in Paris. And one of my favorite quotes from the book is, libraries are lungs, books, the fresh air breathed in to keep the heart beating, to keep the brain imagining, to keep hope alive. I love the cover as well. I think it's just perfect. It's very pretty, very nostalgic. And um, I really appreciate the fact that the protagonist is there with her little stack of books looking over the Eiffel Tower. And um, personally, it brings back some very special memories for me of being in Paris as well. So I uh, love the cover. The storyline, without giving away any spoilers, um, it's a time split novel, which I personally really enjoy. And we are looking at the protagonist, whose name is Odile Suchet. And first of all, we see her in Paris as a young woman who lands her dream job of working in the American Library in the city of Paris. So this is in 1939. And she has this uh, great life with a boyfriend who adores her. She has a twin brother who she's super close to. And um, yeah, everything's going great for her. She has a new best friend from England. And then World War II happens and everything changes. The library, which is this hub of humanity, uh, pulls together in like this most extraordinary way. Uh, with the unspoken mantra of, in the darkness of war, the light of books. And the librarians uh, not only sent uh, stacks of books to the soldiers uh, to give them a little light in their time of darkness, but they actually risked their own lives as they got books into the hands of Jews around the city of Paris. Um, so it, it was absolutely fascinating and uh, that part of the story is very true. And then the other side of the time split, we see a very private, secluded, senior version of this lady, Odile. She's now living in Montana and it's 1983. And she is befriended by a next door neighbor named Lily. She's a teen girl who uh, takes a fascination from this French woman who lives next door. And um, we have this very interesting friendship. Then the only similarities really are that they're both quite feisty and outspoken. Um, but they learn a lot from one another. Odile uh, is, very, is able to share her love of books and her love of uh, Paris and all things France with this young girl. And in turn, Lily, um, she really sheds light on the secrets that Odile has kept secret for several decades. And now the pros. If you are a library enthusiast, I think you will really enjoy reading this book. One of um, my other favorite quotes from this novel is, the library is my haven. I can always find a corner of the stacks to call my own, to read and dream. I want to make sure everyone has that chance, most especially the people who feel different and need a place to call home. Now, the author actually worked in the American Library in Paris. So this is a really well-researched book. She found out a lot of details while she was literally working in that library. So I really appreciated that. Um, also, it was an education. I knew nothing about the American Library in Paris. And quite frankly, I've never really thought about what happened to libraries during wartime. So this was really, really interesting uh, from that point of view as well. And um, I thought the author did a great job with the characters 
in the library. There's some real quirky individuals. So that's a real treat. Um, and I think time split novels in World War II are one of my favorites. Maybe because um, it's not that long ago and I can totally visualize my grandparents uh, going through that and then sitting me down on their knee and telling me different things from that era. Uh, so I think it's a really special um, dual timeline to have World War II and then something really current. Um, and lastly, it's Paris. And if you've been here before with any of my other reviews, you'll know that I'm a big fan of Paris and that I adore all things French. So the cons, um, some reviewers have said that it's a bit of a slow paced novel and they would have preferred to see it a little uh, faster. But I think with the with the two different settings, uh, timelines, I think Personally, I didn't have a problem with that. Um, and also, if you're looking for a novel that's uh, very detailed about World War II, um, the, the atrocities and the horrors of it, this doesn't really pick up too much on that. There are certainly lots of books out there for that though. So in summary, this is an unforgettable story of how the power of literature brings us together. Friendship, family, forgiveness, the bond of books and the bite of betrayal are all blended together with fiction and not non-fiction in this really stellar novel. When the author was asked what she wished a reader would take away from this book, she said, books are bridges, they bring us together. And I couldn't agree more. If you would like to pick up a copy of this wonderful book, I have an Amazon link below in the descriptions. And if you could just quickly like this video and subscribe so you don't miss any of the other reviews, I would be super grateful. And if you want to find out more about me and my books, I'm at laurathomasauthor.com. Thanks so much for watching and happy reading.